guys. All right, so we're going to continue on with our y-axis. And in the last video, we worked on the bearing block. So in this video, we've got to work on a cover for our bearing. It holds them in together, uh, keeps them pressed together. Uh, so in order to do that, we're going to go up to File, New Design. Uh, let's save this as Y-axis Bearing Cover. Okay. Then let's bring up our data panel as we did before. And we want to right click on our bearing block and insert into current design. Okay, we want to make sure it's going to be in the right position. It looks like it is. So we can select OK. And in order for us to turn the body off and leave the sketches on, we need to break this link. So right click and select break link. And then now we can manipulate this. And it's not going to be tied to the original bearing block drawing anymore. So we can turn on our sketch and we can turn the body off. We won't be needing that right now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go up to sketch, create a sketch. We want to select this front plane here. All right, and then we want to hit C for circle. And I want to draw one circle. That is 50.8 millimeters, which is 2 inches. Okay, I see that I'm still set up on inches. Let me escape out of that. Set this to millimeters. Okay. Hit C again. 50.8 millimeters. There we go. I need another one. That is 35 millimeters. And I need one more that is 25 millimeters. Okay. Uh, next, I want to go to this hole right here and make a circle 4.1 millimeters. All right. And then I want to select L for line. And I want to put a line right here to right there. And one more right there to there. Okay. Then hit T to trim. I want to trim that line, this little line, this one, that one, that one. And that one okay that's good okay I can turn that sketch off now uh, we can get rid of we can get rid of that line that one all right one last thing I need to do go to sketch rectangular pattern I want to click this I want to select two pieces two items. Uh, I want to go over 38 millimeters. And then I want to go down to again and 20 20 millimeters. Select OK. All right. That takes care of our sketch for our bearing cover. So we can stop sketch. All right. We want to go to modify, press pull. I want to select this, these two items and I want to move it in this direction 3.35 millimeters. Select OK. Uh, it automatically turns our sketch off. I want to turn that back on. Swing around to the back side here. I want to right click in this area. Repeat press pull. And I want to move that 
3 millimeters, minus 3 millimeters. Okay, one last thing. We can turn the sketch off now. I want to go to Modify, Chamfer. I'm going to grab this edge right here and hold control and select this edge, this edge, this edge, and this bottom edge. All right, half a millimeter. Looks good. Select OK. And there we have our bearing block cover. This hole right here, I believe, is a little bit too big. I just realized that my inner bearing is 15 millimeters. So this probably only needs to be about 20. So I'm going to go back down here to my sketch. I'm going to right click. Edit sketch, and I want to double click on that 25 and make that 20. Hit enter. All right, I can stop my sketch. There we go. Looks a lot better now. This is just needs to be big enough for our sleeve that's going around there and pressing on our inner race. And one next, one last thing I want to do also is I want to go back to this chamfer here. I want to right click edit it as well. And I want to hold down control and select this inner edge to put a little chamfer there just to make sure that it clears the inter bearing race. We don't want to have any, we don't want to have it rub in there. Okay, pretty satisfied with that now, I believe. Fits together nicely. See how it looks? There we go. Yeah, that looks, looks a lot better right there. All right, well, that wraps up our bearing cover for our Y-axis bearing block. If you have any questions or any suggestions for Fusion 360, Please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.